Madras High Court has slammed the Tamil Nadu government for not taking adequate measures to tackle the water crisis in the state. Hearing a petition on exploitation of groundwater for commercial purposes, the High Court had sought a reply from the government. The court, in fact, observed that the state had failed to take steps to handle the situation even after expecting a delayed monsoon. The court also asked the Secretary of the Public Works Department to file a comprehensive report on desilting of water bodies, amounts sanctioned, and the work done so far in the state. Pramod joining us on the phone line. Uh, Pramod, uh, take us through the latest uh, details as far as uh, this entire case is concerned. Madras High Court slamming the Tamil Nadu government over this issue. Well, it apparently is coming, becoming a routine issue when the Senator High Court is like constantly slamming the Tamil Nadu government for one or the other reason. And here it is like a very important one because this PIL was filed about how uh, bore wells, especially farmland bore wells, are being exploited for commercial purposes. And this is when the Madras High Court came forward on its own and questioned the uh, Tamil Nadu government about the kind of like uh, measures that's been taken to uh, rectify water scarcity. Now, I have to tell you that depending on the minister or the chief minister, both believe that like water scarcity is under control. But the court, after like going through so many reviews, it has questioned this way. What the state replied was that they have sanctioned 212 crores for deep earth bore wells to like, uh, uh, remove uh, pump water from farmlands and that they have increased the uh, like uh, output from desalination plants from 150 million litres to 180 million litres. Not satisfied with this uh, uh, kind of reply, the court very clearly mentioned that even though the state on prior itself knew, that is by February itself, they knew that the Chennai and other cities will, are, are going to struggle because of water scarcity. The state did not take adequate measures. And not just that, the court has also included the uh, uh, Secretary for Public Work Departments, which actually falls under the Chief Minister, and sought a, reply, a report about the desalination, I mean, desilting work that has been taken uh, like uh, all across the state. When it comes to Chennai alone, there are four major reservoirs, Tembarambakam, Cholavaram, Pundi, and Pural. And when we spoke to the minister, S.P. Velamani, who was in charge uh, two days back, he said Tembarambakam has been desilted. But however, the government today repli yesterday replied that Cholavaram has been desilted. Not exactly sure why there is a confusion, but mm -hmm. even after like, so long, they did not use this time properly, and they have not started desilting of major reservoirs, which will impact next year if there is a failure of monsoon. Right, so quite a few lapses there, Pramod, as you're reporting. The desilting process is not complete. The government knew well ahead of time that there could be a crisis at this time of the year, yet adequate measures were not taken. Thanks for updating us, Pramod. In fact, uh, let's uh, shift focus to the water crisis uh, that also Pramod was talking about just a day after Tamil Nadu Minister SP uh, Velumani claimed that the reports of water scarcity were in fact hyped. Mirinau discovered one of the prominent hospitals in Chennai is in fact reeling under the water crisis. That's right, Avni. In fact, parents are forced to buy drinking water from tea shops outside government children's hospital in Egmore. Drinking water is being sold at 3 rupees to 5 rupees per litre. However, authorities refuse to speak on this matter. And she claims that like she's been like uh, bringing her child to this hospital. Well, the Tamil Nadu government says that like in Chennai, there is no water issue. Minister for Municipality and Corporations, S.P. Velumani also very clearly says that this is nothing but a created hyped up news. We are standing outside the Eggmore Children's Hospital, a very, very prominent hospital. And the fact here is that in this institute, we have seen something very different. Outside the hospital in the perimeter, you have tea shops. On the right side, you could see those tea shops. And the thing is there, you have water bottles, bubble tops and everything. And you could see a funnel on top of it. What they're doing is actually, they are actually selling drinking water here for a price. In fact, one liter of water at this location is five rupees. And you are being sold a minimum of two liters for 10 rupees. And this is what the people here are drinking. We were shocked and when they tried to ask the question to the people in this area why they are following such a kind, they claim that there is no water inside. 
However, the management has not said anything about it so far yet. In this situation, that's the condition. As we walk, you could see over there, you have the funnels and you have the bubble tops where the people are being sold water. And this has become a routine over here. Why the water is not being given to anybody, we're not exactly sure. But that's the condition in this area. Outside, you could see water is being sold. Drinking water, very, very essential one. The patients require it. This is a government children's hospital. And yet, apparently, the, the patients here claim that there is no water over here. With camera person Saravanan, Pramod Madhav, for Mirana.